Question 14. So we need to find dy over dx at the origin. Well, I can easily write down dx over dy looking at this. So that's just going to be 8 cos 2y. And then, so dy over dx is simply 1 over 8 cos 2y. So if I substitute 0 into this, then that's going to be, so cos 2y, that would be 1. So when y is 0, then dy over dx must equal an eighth. Right, so let's have a look at part b. It says use small angle approximation for sine 2y. So if we just, in here, let's just go back and look at that. So small angle approximation is just going to be 2y there. So in other words, x equals 4 times 2y. So x equals 8y. So y equals divide by 8, an eighth of x. Now, if we look at the second part, explain the relationship between these two answers, well, look, they're the same gradient. And we just say, same gradient. There we are. Right, part C. OK, I, I thought part C was probably one of the trickiest things on this paper to do. Um, but let's have a little look. So we know that dy over dx is equal to 1 over 8 cos 2y. So let's just jot that down. Now, it's kind of not necessarily hard, but it's just knowing kind of what, what to do on the question. So I was looking at this and I was thinking, well, we've got to get it looking like this over here. So let's start thinking about, well, wait a minute. I know that x equals 4 sine 2y. I'm just trying to think of different ways of writing things down. So x over 4 equals sine 2y. Okay, that could be useful. Now I'm looking at this cos 2y. Oh, I know. Wait a minute. If I were to write sine squared 2y plus cos... Now this is probably the the, the crunch of this question is kind of knowing to write this down, thinking about this. So, so wait a minute, cos 2y is 1 minus this one. So cos, or rather cos squared 2y, is 1 minus sine squared 2y. Ah, look at what we just did a second ago here. So if I square both, that's x squared over 16. So that equals sine squared 2y. Let's pop this into here. So cos squared 2y equals 1 minus x squared over 16. Now, I don't want cos squared 2y. I want, I want cos 2y. So that's going to be the square root of this. So cos 2y will equal the square root of this here. So let's just take this and pop it over here. So that gives us 1 over 8 times this here. So now it looks yucky at the moment, but actually it's not that far away from where we want to get to. Right? Have a look to see where we want to get to. So it's quite similar. I don't want that 16 to be there. Now this is like a little trick here. I was thinking, how can I get rid of the 16? How can I multiply this by 16? Well, 4 squared is 16. So if I think about this number here is 2 times 4, and take the 4 inside the square root, and then that gives me 16, take away, so 16 squared over 16, and let's see where we get to. 2 root 16, take away x squared. And that's the format that we wanted. There we go. All done.